Hey guys, and welcome to a new, different kind of video. I haven't done a special effect like makeup tutorial in a very long time, so here's my face without any makeup. And long story short, I found this random, really cool artwork picture on Tumblr again, and I decided to make it recreate the face. It's kind of creepy. It's this random, like, shark-looking girl. So we're going to try to replicate this look in this video. So let's get started with the tutorial. First of all, you're going to need a little hair tie or a scrunchie if you want to do it the 90s style. Pull your hair back, put it up in a ponytail, and if you have some fringy fringe bangs or baby hairs everywhere like I do, you might want to get some bobby pins and put that in place to pull your hair back. Oh, and if you see me looking off to the side in this video, throughout the whole video, it's because I'm looking at a mirror that's on the side of me. Then you want to take some face moisturizer. This is by Aveeno, but you use anything as long as it goes on your face. And right here, my face gets super red like a tomato, but we'll deal with it. And then you want to get a face makeup primer. This one's by L'Oreal Studio Secret Magic Perfecting Base. We could buy a cheap one by e.l.f. I'm sure they sell one that's cheaper. You want to smear that all over your face. Then you want to take a makeup setting spray. This one's by Urban Decay, the all-nighter one. Or I know that e.l.f. sells one online or at Target for like three bucks. Now I'm going to take this Halloween makeup in white. It's a tube makeup and it's only under two dollars. But if it's not the Halloween season, you could get this on Amazon for under a dollar a piece. You want to start smearing that all across your upper lip like a mustache to the ends of your ears and even on the tip of your nose. Also, you want to get a line across your chin like if you have a chin strap. If you're a guy with one of those chin straps like AJ from Backstreet Boys, yeah, make it white all across across your chin. This kind of looks a little dirty. It's like I'm smearing toothpaste all over my face. Then you want to take more white cream makeup in the tube and smear all down the middle of your neck, just the center part. And then you're going to take a stick of glue and smear that all over your eyebrows. And I only had a purple one, but the purple one's kind of cool because you could see like where you're putting the glue, like an indicator. That sounds like a fancy word that I could use here. And then you're going to take a matte powder and you're going to take the powder puff that's either inside or you could buy these really cheap at the drugstore and then put that in the powder pat that all over the glue so that it'll stick to the powder and make it smoother and then after you're done powdering you're going to take that glue stick again and not only smear it on your eyebrows but take the edge of your fingernail and get a whole bunch on there and smear it on your eyebrow you can use the tip of your fingernail or a little spatula metal thing or you could honestly use like a butter knife make sure not to gouge your eyes out because that would suck but you want to even out the smear of the thick layer you want a thicker layer of glue and make it even and smooth before you put another layer of the matte powder then you're going to take that white cream Halloween makeup that we used before and get it on a foundation brush to dab it over the eyebrows. So it'll perfectly conceal your eyebrows unless you have like really thick black eyebrows. Then you might want to use a little bit of concealer or you could probably just use more white. Make the white on your top lip we did before and your jawline thicker and more opaque so it looks white and the white stands out more. And then I'm gonna take this same brand of Halloween makeup and I'm gonna get it in the color of silver, in which I put it on this metal palette that I've been testing out my colors with. If you don't have a metal fancy palette like this, you could use a paper plate or any type of dish as long as you don't get your parents bad if you borrow their dishes or you have to make sure it's clean. And then you're going to take the same type of brand of Halloween makeup in the color of this blue and do the same amount of silver as you did blue and you're going to mix those two together on your palette. And then you're going to smear that on the edges of your face, right where your hairline is. This is going to get a little messy and in your hair. Do this all over your hairline on the edge of your face and then drag it over, not on top of the white, but on your cheekbones above it. Then you're going to grab some of the white paint in that silver gray blue color you just mixed together and mix that in so it'll have a lighter shade than the one you just made if that makes sense and you're gonna smear that all over the center of your forehead so that it could highlight and stand out more than the rest of the edges of your hairline and face that we just painted and you also want to take this paint down the center of your nose the bridge of your nose and on top of your cheekbones under your eye 
Make sure to cover your eyelids and everything else that is not covered. But don't paint in that mouth part. We're leaving that for later. Then take that darkish blue gray color that we did before on your hairline and do it, draw all the way down the sides of your neck. Don't cover the middle white part of the neck that we made before. And if you really want to get crazy and creative and like make it look really cool, you could put this inside of your ears. Yes, it'll wash off. Don't worry. It takes a shower and just get some q-tips in there later. It'll wash off. And you want to drag that blue all the way down to your chest parts as well, but not all the way down your testicles. Yes, that's the word. I kind of made it up. Now we're going to get that silver face paint again, and sometimes I use my hand as a palette instead of the metal things because it warms up the product so you can apply it better. And smear that gray color in between the dark blue line and the lighter blue that we did on our forehead so that there will be a medium gradient to blend it out better so there will be no more harsh lines. Even do it where the white in the cheeks are that we did before. Now you're going to take a makeup sponge or a beauty blender, wet it really good, wring out all the excess water, and use that to blend in all the harsh edges over on top of that silver that we just put so it could be all nice and pretty. But honestly, I did too much, so I'm adding a little bit more of the makeup, touching up colors where I see my skin showing through a little bit. Taking the white cream makeup again and just making my neck and my jawline more opaque and white. So if you're wearing a shirt or a tank top would even be cooler so you could do your shoulders and all these colors. If you have enough paint and want to get really creative. But make sure you get the edges all the way down to whatever clothing you're wearing. It might get messy but again, I think this will wash out I hope. Wear a shirt that's like kind of grubby and maybe you don't even hardly wear anymore. And then taking that silver again and just making it more opaque. Then I take the white makeup again on that foundation brush and just pat it over the white. And now for the really fun part, if you're really artistic and have a steady hand, this will be more fun for you. Because you're going to take a eyeliner. You, this one's a liquid eyeliner by Maybelline Stiletto. Or you could take a gel eyeliner with a brush, which would be even probably better than this was. Or you could take just any pencil eyeliner. I'm sure they're like a dollar and ninety nine cents at the drugstores, and you're gonna outline the jaw on the edges of that white we did around our mouth. Kind of like a crazy joker smiley face. Then you're going to get that white cream makeup and take a art brush. Just any random paint brush that you find at an art store. Get a crummy cheap one because it's not like you're going to cherish it forever. And you're going to start painting in the teeth of the shark. Make sure to make these long and not short. And make sure that you don't like overlay them. Have the gaps in between to do the bottom teeth. But... You're going to kind of want to do the top sets of teeth a little longer than the bottom ones, I noticed. So that looks like the Jaws type shark thing looking up. It'll be cool, I promise. Do that all across. Don't make the teeth the same sizes. You're going to make the front ones on the front part of your lips longer. Make sure to fill in the lips really well because you want those teeth to be longer, like I said. And as they descend to your cheekbones, to your ear, you're going to make the teeth smaller but keep them pointy like a shark and kind of long. Now you're really going to be able to see these teeth when you take some black Halloween makeup and put it on a palette. Take another brush or you can use the same one if you wash it really, really well. We don't have time for that though. That's why I said to get more than one brush. Get an art brush, a thin kind of one, dip it in that black and then fill in in between the teeth. We did the teeth first because it's always easier to paint black over white than it is to paint white over black when it comes to face makeup like this. Now you can do one or two coats of this depending on how much you want to show and define those teeth. And make sure to color in a gap in the very back of, of the teeth towards your ear because that's going to be the edge of the smirk or the smile of the shark or girl. Or you could be a shark boy. And then I'm taking more of the white makeup on that paintbrush and filling it in my teeth more to make it more defined. Now I'm going to take the same Halloween makeup in red and do a little bit on a palette and then mix it in a little bit with the white so we have this pinky kind of color because sharks they don't have just teeth into their mouths they have gums like we do and it's kind of this pink color so we're gonna mix that color and smear all over the edge of that black line we first did when we outlined it our mouth and then since you finished with that and you kind of look like a shark wearing lipstick you're gonna take a dry makeup sponge and blend in the edges of the pink 
into the white. Make sure you don't blend it into the white of the teeth or, or with that black because you're going to mess up all the hard work you just did. Then to make this more realistic, this kind of gets a little messy, but you're going to take the silver and a little bit of black, mix it together, and put that on a dry makeup sponge and dab it a little bit over, not all of the teeth, just the edges of them towards your ears, the outer teeth because it's gonna have a shadow to make it more realistic and the front teeth pop out more to give your face more dimension of the shape of a shark. But don't dab it too much to where you're gonna smear everything off to see the skin underneath the paint. Then you're gonna take that pink ready color that we made for the gums before with an art thin paintbrush and then put those as little gash lines above the gums. Then I took some more of the blue, darker color we made before and just like put it down my neck and stuff, areas where I thought you could see too much of my own skin. Then I took some of the black color on a thin art brush and then did it on the bottoms of the teeth because if you look at a shark's tooth, they kind of have like grooves or ridges on the bottom of where their tooth is connected to the gum. Now here's a really fun part that's gonna make everything stand out and polish it off. I'm taking this Blizzard 28 Cool Color Collection palette from Crown Brush. Honestly, you get any type of color palette that has cool blue, teals, and white colors. I know that e.l.f. has one. They're always really cheap. I'm sure NYX has some. I'm going to take this top second white pearly one because it has this pink reflection on it that gives it the illusion of like a fish skin. And I'm going to put that on top of the white parts of the makeup that we did with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Just don't press it too hard because you don't want to smear all the makeup you just did. That's why you want a fluffy one and not a stiff one. Then I'm going to take this dark blue eyeshadow and it's kind of sparkly. I'm using the same fluffy brush. I just flipped it over and used the other side. And you're going to contour the edges of your hairline with the makeup of that charcoal gray, almost black, just on the sides of your face towards your eyebrow, where, where your eyebrow used to be. You're going to do the same thing to the other side of the face. Then I just took more of the paint to mix it in with the eyeshadow. Went back to that charcoal gray color and then put it on my ears down the sides of my neck so it all connect and look really cool. And put it on your jawline, but not all the way across the white, just a little bit. Then you're gonna take this really pretty light teal shimmery color and you're gonna smear that on your fingertips and then pat it on the edge of where the white meets the blue of the makeup you did. Then I'm gonna take that dark charcoal gray color again on the fluffy brush and sweep it from my temples where I did it to my eyebrows before across my cheekbones into my nose. This is not only gonna define the look, but it's going to make it so that the mouth stands out even even more and it's gonna give your face the shape of more of a shark jaw like effect now take that teal color again and then do it on the white and dark blue of your neck and I also put it in the center of my forehead if you could tell and then comes the really fun part I'm gonna take some fake Dracula blood if it's not Halloween season right now you could get this on Amazon for around I think under five bucks putting that on my hand to warm it up a little bit and then you're gonna put that on the edges of your gums honestly the fingertip works does not work with the fake blood you might want to get another art painter brush that's kind of thin. Now I'm going to take that gray color we made with the silver and the black paint and get a thin paint brush and do lines right under my nose on my upper lip not like on the actual smile but that little white between the smile and the base of my nose. And then right under your jaw where your neck is, closer to your jawline, you're gonna do dashes with this dark or black color really thinly to make like the gill effect of a shark. Then I'm just taking that charcoal gray eyeshadow again with a fluffy brush and putting it under my eyes. In that teal color again, I'm just blending it underneath the whites of where my eyebrows were. And then now you're gonna take any type of matte black eyeshadow. I only had this one that was in this giant palette that I got. It's from Crown Brush, but you get Coastal Scents palettes or e.l.f. palettes or anything you have around. Black matte eyeshadow isn't that hard to find, I don't think. And you're gonna put that over your eyelids. But you're gonna do it in a circular motion to where the center of your eyelid is going to be higher than the rest. It's not gonna be a straight line across your eyelid because these are gonna act as like the black beady eyes of a shark. 
And since the black eyeshadow was no opaque enough for my taste, you could take some of your black eyeliner that you used before and put it over that and under your eyes. And you can keep closing your eyes and checking the mirror to make sure that it's a circle that meets up when you close your eyeball. And to make it even more opaque and really black and beady, I took some of the costume makeup in the color black with the eyeshadow brush and painted that over all the liner and everything I just did. And honestly, if you're really daring and make this even really cooler, um, I was wearing contacts and I just hate doing it in general, but you could take some eyeliner and put it on your waterline, that skin between your eyeball and like where your bottom lashes and stuff meet. That just scares me sometimes, so I really didn't do it and I was afraid that would stick onto my contacts. <laughs> Cause I'm a chicken that way. Then I took some more of the dark shadow and just finished off defining little parts I thought needed to be defined. And this is our finished look. I thought it looked really cool. I was surprised I was able to do it. I'm sure it'd be easier for me to do this on someone else than my actual self. But I had a ton of fun doing this. You could do this if you're a guy or a girl for a crazy Halloween party. When you're watching this, it might not even be close to Halloween, but I don't know, makeup is just fun because you could be whoever you want to be and just like transform yourself. Have fun with it and it just washes off, so. I'm sure you could scare a lot of people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and what I would like to know today is what is another makeup tutorial you would like to see me do? And I will be definitely seeing you again probably tomorrow because we are doing videos Monday through Friday on this channel. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.